Hey there, Collective. Hope you guys are doing really well this evening. I'm getting ready to do y'all's reading. This will be a collective reading. Okay. So please only take what resonates as always and leave the rest. If you need more uh, specifics, do look to your other placements of your chart, please. Oh, <laughs> let's see. Ragnarok, destruction, ending, final moment. Okay. You know what's weird is I just did, um, who did I just do? I did Scorpio. I did the other two one. Let's see. Scorpio and Pisces finishing out my water sign. So <clears throat> both of them had a card of completion. And this card seems to indicate, so if you're either one of those or dealing with those, you might want to take a look there as well. Somebody may be going through some kind of ending at the moment, okay? It does say final moment. This could be you, actually, okay? It could be you or somebody that you're dealing with. So let's get some more. Uh, the wizard. Oh, wow. Okay, so we have the wise one, the counselor here, the rune king. The rune king. This could be somebody who people, <laughs> this could be somebody who is actually seeking counsel, honestly, it could be somebody, this could be you as well, okay? Somebody who um, is deemed to, to be a wise person, someone that people go to uh, to get answer, answers, to get clarity, to gain wisdom, okay? <clears throat> the wizard sticks out as well. <laughs> this could literally be a wizard, okay? Somebody who alchemizes and does wizard, wizardry. Look at this, as I say it, elf struck. Enchanted, beguiled, and spelled. This could be somebody, honestly, that is feels enchanted by you, okay? Um, or someone who is very drawn to you is what I'm saying. This may be somebody who's going through some kind of ending here. Um, <clears throat> they may actually view you as the wise one. You could be the one out here that's being very wise. Maybe this person feels like they need to come towards you in some way. You know, this is whatever they're going through is very destructive is what I'm feeling. Now, take the energies as they resonate, okay? I'm talking about this like this is another person. This could very well be you as well. A lot of you, this is definitely another person is what I'm feeling here. Somebody's got their eyes on you is what I'm feeling. Soul can. Yeah, this could be somebody who you have some kind of soul connection with. Maybe they feel like family to you, okay? There's some kind of kinship here. It could be kindred spirits, okay? Some kind of recognition. You could also be getting a lot of recognition. Maybe that's how this person knows you. Maybe this is how they see you. Maybe this is why they are enchanted, okay? You could be spreading some kind of wisdom to other people, helping other people in some way, be very nurturing. Or you could be a sorceress. <laughs> What am I? What are these cards I have? Let me see. I don't even know. I have too many decks here. Yeah, something about sorceress is about someone doing rituals. Okay, it doesn't have to be. Okay, but that's what a sorceress is. Okay, um, you know, but this is about power. This is about using your power, your free will to make things happen. Maybe they're seeing you as a person that really knows how to how to use your powers to your benefit. And you know, when I say use your powers, you could very well know how to use the universe to your benefit. Honestly, you could very well know how to manifest things as well. This person sees you as a very powerful person who understands that they can will themselves in and out of anything. Okay. Um, and maybe they have actually watched you do that as well. Very wise as well. I think that they feel like you're a person that knows a lot or maybe they think you know a little about a lot. <laughs> you seem to know a lot about a variety of subjects. I don't know why I just got that. So you're a person. You might be someone who is like a truth seeker or you seek out knowledge. So you're always learning about different things. Very inspired in some sense. But whoever this is has a very favorable view of you. Yeah, look may even feel that you're some kind of dream weaver here and that you're really following your fate and your destiny, okay? And we kind of talked about that a little bit with the sorceress, okay? Um, that you're making things happen for you in your life, okay? You're using your power to to make sure that you, you have a good life, that you're bringing things into being that you actually want, okay? Um, somebody is watching you. That's I, I get that so strongly, okay? They're paying attention, to you to this i think they're very attracted obviously enchanted uh, with it yeah because you you have so much grace here okay you're coming across as very graceful 
uh, even very noble, someone who very much so stands in their truth is a very, um, probably shows a lot of gratitude as well. They see a real male or female does not matter. I think they see some humility in you as well. I think they're really, they like that. Yeah, I think they definitely like that as well. Okay, something about you being humble in a sense. And I think that this person has definitely wanted to initiate something with you. Okay, they could see you, that you come across as very open, very warm. And I just think that they're really curious about you. So shoot, is this a new person that you don't even know? It could very well be. This could definitely be someone who feels like they should be your protector, your guardian, your champion in some way here with the golden unicorn. Okay, I like it. I like it. Oh, of course, on the bottom. We're not even going to go there. <laughs> We're not even giving you any time of day today, trickster. All right, let me put these. I have cleaned off everything, and now I don't even want to put down a deck on my desk because I'm like, my desk is so clean. <laughs> so let's see what is going on here. Where do we want to begin? I don't even know. Why don't we start with, oh, let's start with Lena Mont tonight. I have two different decks of them, so we'll start here. Let's get one more. Okay, let's start here. Oh, <laughs> We would definitely start there. We got a wealthy man. Okay. This could be a wealthy man that has been watching you, uh, looking at you. Maybe they've watched you go through some kind of very destructive ending as well. Some, some kind of final moment that they've been waiting for. I feel like this person has been through that. This person has been through that. And I feel like they're trying to create some kind of change in their life, but they've been watching you. Kind of create the life, I feel like, of your dreams. Something that you've wanted. This person sees you. I keep going back to your power for some reason. I don't think this person saw how much power you have within you. Interesting. They may very well look at you as a privileged lady. Flip these cards up if you need to, okay? You could very well be the man here. But there is a privileged lady, obviously, that's involved as well. They could very much so look at you as someone who has it all, who's created it all. I feel like they, you figured out some kind of balance in life is what I want to say. You know how things kind of work. Again, they're enchanted by you, by what they're seeing. They feel like you have either, you, either you've been or they know that maybe they, they can see that you are. They feel like you've become someone who's very powerful in your own right. Oh, wow. This could have been someone who you were lovers with before. Okay, or this is something that they think about, becoming your lover, wanting that from you, wanting to be with you that way. <laughs> That's okay. I literally just heard the song come up in my head when I was saying that part-time lover. So I know they ain't trying to be no part-time lover. <laughs> that was bizarre because that's an older song, but... Um, maybe they were a part-time lover before. Maybe that's what it's telling me. Maybe this person was somebody who you knew from the community, around the community, from work, something like that in your area. Um, you could have also been a part of some kind of community online. Okay. Um, but maybe you guys were, cause I heard the song part-time lover. Maybe you guys had like a, I don't know, secret rendezvous or, um, Maybe you had kind of some kind of, you know, friend, friends with benefits or something like that kind of situation going on before. That's what I'm saying. I feel like somebody is just like enchanted with you. So something they are, they're seeing, they're watching, okay? Kind of watching you stand or step in to a lot of power. They definitely feel like you have the keys. I don't know. I don't even know why I'm saying that. The keys, I guess the keys to what? The keys to knowledge, the keys to... To how to navigate through life, something like that. You definitely have a higher wisdom about you. Okay, so now we have a main male as well. There could be another main male that is around you. This might be something that they're concerned about, something that they're thinking about. All right, who is the main male in this person's life? What else here? Oh, we have poverty here. So somebody, well, the person was wealthy before, so um, this could have been something, I don't know who the main male is here, okay, if you're with some, no, I don't know what, the, I'm going to actually clarify this one, because I'm not going to say that before I clarify, let's clarify poverty, please, poverty doesn't always have to be financially, okay, it can be, obviously, but poverty can also be a mindset, 
All right, poverty, feeling impoverished, feeling like I've just been through a lot. I've just been through a terrible ending. Um, am I worthy of something like this? Do you see what I'm saying? Um, would this person even pick me? Are they with another person? It's a very much an impoverished uh, mindset. Am I good enough to love, to be loved, to be in a in a relationship like this one? You know, and they don't even have to be thinking about relationship. Honestly, they could be thinking about, you know, just all the hell that they could have very well went through up here and just thinking, you know, I'm not ready for any of this. Like it, it's just, it's almost like a, it's victimization. That's what it is. It's just like re-victimization, right? You're going over the same things in your head over and over. And, um, you're, you're kind of devouring yourself with, with low, a bit of low self-esteem at the moment, right? Maybe this person has some healing to do as well, but they could have also had some kind of marriage that they felt like kept them in some kind of poverty as well. Okay. Maybe that's why it was so destructive. Maybe, you know, this all came about as an ending or this is what came out of the ending. If they had to get, uh, obviously divorce, it was a marriage, right? Um, or maybe they just found out this person was doing some horrendous stuff while they were in it. I don't really know what the situation was, but I am definitely linking these two cards together. This person could be walking away with little to nothing out of a marriage is what I'm feeling. Yeah, because they want to court another person here. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Yeah, they definitely do. They want to court another person here. And I think you guys might have some big discussions about this too. I don't know why I'm feeling like this person may be having discussions with someone else. Yeah, I just turn it over. We have, uh, we have journey that was sticking out and then we have great fortune here as well. Okay. So maybe this person feels like that they could have great fortune in being with you because obviously I heard that you have the keys, okay? You figure some things out. You might be a master manifester. You may be someone who just loves very deeply and maybe that in that way they view you as incredibly, um, obviously powerful, okay? They see the way that you're loving yourself. You're taking care of yourself and they feel like that is something that they need in their life. Being with you would be some kind of great fortune. You could also be a person that they see that manifests quite easily. You may have a, a great fortune, to be honest with you, but I feel like this person feels like you're very fortunate. They've seen you kind of make your way up, is what I want to say. And they've become very enthralled with you, enchanted with you in some way. Maybe they do see you taking journeys, traveling, but they definitely see that you are well-respected in light. And you may be obtaining a lot of... Um, yeah, a lot of stability could even be money and fortune as a result of a great fortune to me usually indicates too that you're getting some kind of notoriety as well. You could very well be getting attention. They may feel like they have to journey to see you as well. Take a journey. You could actually be at a distance from this person to come and actually see you. They may be talking to others about this as well. I don't know why I'm saying that. They might are they consult or maybe others are talking about the situation actually let me get on that note let me get some more cards from a different deck because i want to see what that is about this family room spirit tell me about oh hello let me grab the two that flew oh, was it one that flew i guess it was only one okay well, we have stork so this is about making some kind of improvements. It is definitely about change. I'm asking about the family room. This could be a conversation that's going on about the change that somebody is making. Um, it is about newness or transition. Somebody here could be making some kind of transition. You could be dealing with an Aries too, or you could be a, an Aries as well. Family room talk could also be about some kind of birth, okay? This is definitely a stork I'm looking at. <laughs> It could be about a birth, okay? It could be birthing something new into being, but it could also be about, does somebody have a baby? Let me see. All right, what else, Spirit? Talk to me about family room. I'd like to clarify family room, please. Family room for my collective. Family room. Crossroads, yeah. This is about something new. Somebody's having some discussions about somebody who's making some changes, or maybe they want to talk to you about some changes that they want to make, okay? Um, you know, Crossroads indicates to me there's some kind of decision that has to be made, okay? Somebody's considering their options here, their choices, there may be some hesitation uh, in it. Um, somebody may also feel someone is deviating from something. I don't know why that would be there. Um, 
So maybe there was some plan or maybe this person been doing something. Maybe this person's been in a job or something and they'd have to leave it. I don't really know the situation, but, and, you know, maybe somebody depended on them. Maybe they feel like they're de deviating from that. I'm not really sure, but somebody is definitely wanting to make some kind of change, some kind of improvement in their life. And they certainly feel like they are at a crossroads. They may be discussing that with others that are around them or with you, either one with the family room here. Yeah. Yep. The garden. The garden is about reunion. <laughs> um, but it's also about networking. It's about having meetings. It can be a party or an event, something along those lines uh, where you guys actually meet at. It could also be going on some kind of retreat together. You could be dealing with a Libra here. I have two cards actually of Libra here. Let me get some more cards over here. So Spirit, what about this wealthy man? Let's clarify. What's going on with this wealthy man here? Somebody is trying to leave either a situation or an, maybe even an area. That's what I'm feeling. Somebody is trying to make a change. Whoa. Okay. Well, look out for this. So let's clarify the privileged lady, please. Yeah, the see. All right, so the wealthy man here that is coming in, you know what's interesting, because we saw a wealthy man here, and once I got over here, and we saw marriage, I said this person may have went through some destructive ending and lost a lot of money, right? They, this might be why the poverty card is sitting right next to this person. This person may be coming in still presenting as this wealthy man, okay, which in, would in fact not be true, okay? Um, you know, this is the card of con it's a card of fraud it's a card of sneakiness and lies um hidden intentions definitely watch out for that this is the card of scorpio as well also have capricorn here okay we see this fox moving towards these lilies which is someone who is mature someone that could be a, an older person okay um that is full of wisdom and maturity all right somebody who is experienced here let's clarify the lovers So this person may have had a lot going on before, and now they may have actually lost a lot, but they may not let you, you know, they may show up, talk the same, act the same. If this is a new person, then I, I mean, if this is an older person, this could be a new person too. I just see the card of reunion though, but it doesn't have to be. This card also is about meeting at a party, an event. It's about um, being in crowds, it's about play in the field a little bit as well, okay? But it could also mean networking, so just keep that in mind. Look at that, though, the lovers. See, there could have been some delays. If this is an older person, there could have been some delays in you guys coming together because this person could have actually been in another situation. If it applies, it doesn't have to be, but there's definitely been some kind of blockages, some kind of opposition, I feel like, here. If this is a past situation, Another card of Capricorn here as well. Yeah, a lot of delays. Show me community. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, look at that. We got mice. Something happened within the community. Maybe this person works within the community and there's just been a lot of... This is all toxic and draining though with the mice. Okay. See, there's a lot of worry here, a lot of loss. You know what I pick up? This is so odd. It's almost like somebody has a job in one of those fields where they're just catching, being pounded with like negativity constantly, maybe having their rights challenged. I don't know why I'm getting that. Maybe having their, yeah, okay. Wow, just as I heard authority challenged. So maybe having their authority challenged too. Feel like they're constantly under the microscope and they're having to lay low almost uh, this is weird okay almost like sneak around like mice do right sneak around something is something i don't know what this has to do with this but something it does have something to do with it most definitely there could have been a lot of loss and stuff maybe the community maybe they felt like the community would judge them or maybe that was part of this person was involved in something that's why it's been such a destructive ending here and it could have involved a community as well. All right, I have 
three cards came out one is a woman one is the cross which is about more trials but the last card thank god is the sun yeah somebody has really been through it here and i don't know that they're they're completely innocent okay you might actually be dealing with someone or whoever this person is that's coming in they could very well be someone from the past who you've been with who you've been lovers with before um, they may actually feel like you have another person in their life, or this could be another male that's also involved in the situation. What I'm getting here is that they want to move towards you, but they may not be displaying everything out in the open. That's a hundred percent what I'm getting here. They know that you're wise. They know that you have found the keys in some way. They're watching you They're I feel like they're, they're, um, beguiled by you in some sense. They're enchanted, right? And spelled in some way they're struck the card literally says elf struck. All right. They do feel, and you guys could have been good friends before. You could have been someone they could have leaned on because the card up here next to it does say soul kin, which tells me that y'all could have had a good, you could have very well just had a good relationship, a good friendship. Maybe you're somebody who stands by this person. But something has happened here. This person has definitely suffered some loss. I feel that very strongly. And we have two cards here of Sneaky, the Mice and the Fox here. So something is not really clear to you or on the up and up. This this is my issue. Now, I did Scorpio's... Was it Scorpio? Yeah, I did Scorpio's reading too. And in their reading, so if you're a Scorpio, definitely, uh, if this is resonating, because Scorpio's had quite a bit of toxicity too. It, was, it ended up being a good reading, but the person that was coming, and I'm going to tell you the whole thing, but the person that was definitely making a play for, for Scorpio definitely had some hidden motives and some toxicity as well. So. so you might actually be the woman that they're coming towards. So this could be a woman coming towards you. I do have Taurus uh, as well as Leo here. All right. There could be another woman that's been involved with this. We do have the main male here, and then we have a woman. So this could have been somebody who they were involved with as well. So some other man and woman that I feel like are involved. Remember I said I feel like other people are talking about this for some reason, though I'm not quite sure why. Maybe that's what's happening here in the family room. Was there some kind of pregnancy? Uh, is there some kind of pregnancy? I don't really know. The stork is definitely here. Here. Or are they just talking about this person who feels like they're at a crossroads and they need to leave? There could have been another man in Oh my God, Lord. There could have been another man involved. So they could have been with someone and then there could have been another man involved in two. This might be three people. Yeah, that, honestly, there could have been some kind of theft. Uh, theft. There could have been some kind of theft here. All right, somebody could have got stolen from. Someone could have stole from somebody. This is a very draining situation, though. There's definitely a lot of deterioration that's been happening in a particular situation that's finally coming to an end. Somebody's finally putting something to an end, or it's come to an end. However, it happened. Something has definitely came to an end here. This could have been with somebody who maybe this person felt were friends. This person could have been in something, honestly, with two other people, too. It could have been a business deal. I'm not really sure here. I feel someone got screwed over, though, some kind of theft. So maybe someone convinced somebody to invest or... Or maybe they were just in a relationship and this person was in the relationship with someone else. God forbid if there's a baby and... There's, there's two people here involved. That would be very unfortunate. Yeah, whatever it is, there's there's a lot of, um, this person definitely that is coming through feels a lot of sorrow, a lot of guilt. They feel like they've been through a lot of suffering as well. Something's being challenged with them, their beliefs, their religion, something along those lines. I'm not sure what that's about, but this is definitely about um, feeling like they've been carrying a pretty heavy, you know, it's a big cross to bear, as we always say, carrying a pretty heavy, a lot of pretty heavy burdens on their shoulder regarding something. I feel like they want to talk about it. Okay, this person wants to have some kind of happiness and success here with the sun card. Okay, they want to illuminate things to have a positive outcome here. Um, naturally they want to have, you know, fortune kind of turn in their favor after going through a lot. I think you might be dealing with a person who works a lot here. This is definitely a person that is very focused, likes to have nice things, definitely likes to present that way. That may have been honestly what got them into a situation here.
I think this person likes maturity. I'm just going to say it. That's my feeling. Somebody here is like, so they needed to really wisen up. And this may have been something that's, that's actually making them grow a little bit is what I'm feeling. Definitely a lot of obstacles here. That card is all about having patience too. What else, Spirit? Yeah, look at this. A lot of gossip around whatever's happened here. Somebody has been very, very restless. The community might be involved too. Maybe several people within this person's family or if they had conjoined families or whatever happened here in the community, this big destructive loss here. Okay, I don't know why. I just heard violence. Something could have actually involved some kind of violence. I don't, you know, I get family violence. I don't really know. Whatever it was, I feel like other people... This may be where some of the gossip is coming from as well. Somebody has been very uh, anxious here, very restless, okay? They want to have some kind of discussion. Uh, you could be or could be dealing with a Sagittarius as well. It could be also, if this person is trying to move towards you, you could have people here that they've just been through a lot with that are also creating some kind of distractions or gossip or some kind of upheaval around that for some reason yeah look you can't make it up it looks like what's on the bottom here we have a letter you could actually physically be receiving some kind of letter some kind of communication maybe it's a well-written out text or something along those lines maybe you see something on the news as well this is documentation or communication it can certainly come uh, through the news as well especially with all of these cards around it okay Yeah, it may have something to do with the contract this person was in. This person definitely has something they wish to express to you. That's what I feel most definitely. And look, I'm, I'm getting the fish on the bottom again. This is about business. This is about money. This is about finances. Okay, this is the card of Pisces as well. So I don't know if it has something to do with that. I, I definitely, this person's lost money, just period. Okay, <laughs> I don't know what has happened here. It's obviously very dubious. I don't know how much of a part they played in it. Whatever it was, it, I mean, I'm talking about uh, somebody really lowered the gauntlet on this person is what I'm feeling. I feel it's extreme. Okay, whatever it is, it may be exactly what they needed to tear away from a cycle or to see things clearly or to even just mature to be honest with you. So this could be family too, for all I know. This could be family interference as well. You'll know your story. Let me get some, let me go ahead and get some tarot because I'm getting, <clears throat> now I'm so curious. Let me get these out. Yeah, this has got to be somebody you know because I don't think somebody new is going to come in. Although, I mean, I meet new people and I'm surprised at the stuff they tell me. <laughs> I know that sounds terrible, but I mean, true. I, it doesn't sound terrible, but I mean, I'm just not, I'm so private, I guess, but I just can't see somebody being this open about something. And this is some something somebody wants to talk to you about. They want to tell you about, they want to have a conversation and they want to express something. And I do feel like this is someone who you know, or definitely somebody who's definitely watched you for a long time or is watching you in some way. And feels like they're enchanted, enchanted by you. They can't take their eyes off you. Let's see what else. All right, this card flipped. Okay. A card of generosity here, a card of giving and receiving, equal reciprocity. What else, Spirit? This person's energy for the collective. They may see you doing this. They may feel like you're very giving. You're very nurturing. You take care of other people. Maybe even people that are less fortunate. I don't know if maybe you do something with um, like nonprofits or, you know, something like that. It doesn't have to be nonprofits, of course, but maybe you do work like that. Something along those lines. I just feel like they feel like they are 
you're just a very given person okay you're you're a very sharing person maybe you share your knowledge in some way as well here okay this is definitely a person that's been in some kind of healing mode this person's got a lot of fear i'm just going to tell you anxiety stress they have felt like they are just in mental and emotional overload, maybe even physical, okay? They need this rest. They need this time out. I feel like they're healing from something as well. Could have even had some kind of hospitalization. Doesn't have to be, but there is definitely some healing that's going on here. Look at this. And then we have the Empress card. Hmm, let's keep going. Clarify the Empress card sphere. They may actually view you as the empress, honestly. They could see you just standing very strong, feeling like you're powerful, right? Because you're all four queens rolled into one. Uh, they could view you as very motherly, honestly, but just very loving and nurturing, sensual, uh, creative even. They may feel like there's a lot of a lot of competition that is around you, a lot of people that's trying to compete for maybe your time, your energy. Again, this is perception. This is how they see you, right? Maybe they see this, actually. I'm not really sure. <clears throat> this person could actually be going through a lot of battles or feel like they are embattled, okay? Like they have this kind of drama around them, this kind of conflict that may be trying to keep them from coming towards you or from any kind of new start here look at this but they're going to get it or this is their idea that they're definitely going to get it they have a new idea here about it a new plan of action um i think they want to come forward with some kind of truth some kind of clarity maybe they definitely want to talk to you i think this person this could also indicate to me that this person has realized some kind of truth okay they have realized uh, something about themselves, something about their situation, something about what's been going on. This person could be in just as clear thinking, finally, finally getting some kind of mental clarity that they did not have in the past. Maybe on their situation or on the situation with you. Look at this. Could have been on their marriage. If they were in married with somebody, it could have been on some kind of traditional institution. Again, I'm going to go back to work. Okay, it could be around their work. It could also be around their marriage that they were in for a while or their commitment that they stayed in for a while. It could also be about religion or their own beliefs here. Maybe this person has followed. Uh, maybe they have followed what other people have wanted. I don't really know. And it's just maybe they don't feel, you know, and people can do that up to the day they die and be perfectly fine. Uh, but a, a seeker normally, I mean, they're going to, they're going to keep searching until they find what they feel fits with them. Even if it means going against the grain, this person may be having some of those aha moments. Okay. That may also be why people are in the family room talking because there are some changes. Uh, there may be some changes that are being made here. Yeah. Because somebody wants to have a passionate new start. Okay. Very creative new start. They may be showing a lot of passion to go into some kind of new beginning, they may have actually expressed that to, to some people as well and could have gotten some kind of blowback from that. Maybe other people don't want to see that for them. I don't know who wouldn't want to see you elevate yourself. But a lot of, honestly, so many people are really challenged about what they don't know. You know, oh, I don't know that, so it must be wrong. Or that goes against what I've been taught, so obviously it's bad or it's taboo or whatever. Instead of just encouraging people to be independent thinkers, I always say, unless someone's harming themselves or other people or breaking the law, then fucking let them be themselves, okay? Let people evolve and, and learn, you know, the things that they feel is best for them in their journey. But, you know, everybody's different. I'm also not a robot or sheep. <laughs> Okay, I'd like to withdraw that last dig so I don't get any karma. <laughs> I'm sorry, Slate. Y'all know how crazy I start getting. All right, so we have somebody looking for a new beginning here, okay, but trying to find their balance nonetheless beforehand. Uh, this is a person that has been through a lot of ups and downs here, okay? They're trying to be more flexible, so they might have been a bit rigid uh, before here. Mm hmm. They're just trying to get more balanced in their not only in their finances, but also in in life is what I'm feeling. Maybe they feel like they can't come towards you without some kind of balance. They're trying to think smarter. Maybe they're gaining some kind of wisdom, too. I said they're watching you. Maybe they're if you're the wise person over here, maybe they're gaining this wisdom. This person may also be very wise as well here. But look, somebody is trying to come in and show some kind of creative 
creative. Show some kind of romantic expression, maybe creative as well, expression towards you, okay? Make some kind of proposal or maybe just, I don't know, wine and dine you, something like that. Be very affectionate towards you. Could be a man or a woman. Show me my collective spirit. Where is my collective at in all this situation? Oh, I hope that's not you. Somebody here is sitting in a lot of loss. Okay. Feeling very sad. Somebody here is focusing on the three cups that have spilled and not the two that are standing up fully, which tells me that you're not going to see any of this coming here. You could very well be spending time, though, with friends, with family, uh, just being around other people. You could be celebrating. Obviously, we just went through the holidays. I said, where are you at in all this, though? You could definitely be hanging out with friends or family, building new friendships. But you may also, if you know that this is coming, all right, you may, you could also be dating other people. <laughs> Let me just throw that out there because it came in, okay? Or find yourself going to different things. You're not at graduations, but I guess you could be at like weddings or different things like this where you're feeling, you it's funny because you might be sad about the situation potentially in the love life or in that area, but it looks to me like you may be, I mean, in other areas, you look like you're doing pretty good here. This could also show me that you might be excited for some kind of reunion here. But that's not what I'm getting. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, you could be, but that's not what I'm getting at the moment. All right. Temperance card here, Sagittarius. So... Um, maybe you too are focused more so on your balance, on your peace, on moderation, okay, on some kind of inner calm, on lifting yourself um, spiritually. That is a card of an angel, an earth angel, actually, on communing with God, all right, a little more, um, any of those things. I think you're definitely focused on having a more balanced life, okay, a life that you love. Look at that, yeah, a life that you love. And you could very well be in the spotlight as well. I've been saying somebody's been watching you the whole time, and this is definitely a card of being in the limelight, being in the spotlight in some way, shape, or form, whatever it is that you're doing, getting some kind of recognition, being some kind of uh, inspiration to other people, assisting other people in some way. That's also a card to me about spirituality. It's a card about healing as well, okay? I think you have been on this journey of really uh, rebuilding yourself is what I'm getting here. You may be sad over the loss of something at the same token. It just looks to me like you've just been on this journey of learning and rebuilding yourself and using whatever you're learning, it appears to me, and your wisdom to help other people. Okay. Yeah, things are really moving for you is what I'm getting. Really moving fast for you. You could very well have a lot of creative uh, prospects right now. A lot of creative activities that you're kind of delving deep into. You have a lot of communication going back and forth. You could be working a lot as well. You could be traveling a lot. This is this is everything at speed, right? A lot of progress, a lot of movement forward, a lot of action. Very exciting times for you. So why the sadness? Why the sadness? I think the sadness is just looking at maybe something you invested so much time into and it just never came to fruition. Yeah, look at this. You could also be spending a lot of time around your family. We kind of talked about that here, okay? Maybe you feel like you are gathering around people who are becoming your new family, your soul family, something like that, all right? Um, you could also be thinking about a marriage or thinking about what it is that you're wanting really setting your sights or setting, um, maybe you're setting goals. I don't know on, you know, trying to be creative, trying to manifest what it is that you're wanting in your life in terms of stability and relationships, security, harmony, that sort of thing. Damn, you cannot make this up. Look, two of cups. Are you kidding me? And maybe that is coming for you. My question was, where is the collective and what do they have to do with all this with this person? You may know this person is coming in. Maybe they're going to be reaching out. Maybe you know that, hell, you're the wise one, right? You could already know this. Know that this is coming, all right? You already feel, perhaps, that this person is the one that you're supposed to be with. This is some kind of soulmate connection, high-level connection here. This is your partner. Um, but if it's not with this person, this could be showing me that this is where your, your manifestation is going towards, okay? You already have in your head what it is that you're pulling together, whether it's with this past person or someone new, which is more of a commitment situation, okay? Which it may not have been before. 
Yeah, it may not have been before. Okay, something that's more long-term and more stable and secure. Something that's very loving, very harmonious, very balanced, okay? You've done the work on yourself. You're continuing to do the work. So I don't think you're going to settle for anything less than what it is that you're wanting. Definitely not this time around. Yeah, look at this. Transition. So whatever it is, you know, if this is a past person, this could definitely show me that you guys are moving away, okay, to calmer waters. All right, you're getting away. You're, you're obviously moving to calmer waters from some, maybe some very murky or tumultuous waters from before. But it's just showing me that you're moving on or moving forward here. Things are going to be calming down after a storm, okay? You're going to be overcoming some kind of hardship here. If you were in a marriage with this person too, this could definitely be showing me that you're moving away from that, okay? Because you have so many things that are going forward. This could definitely just be someone who you really love, someone who you felt was your partner. Maybe you feel like you have to move away from them, but I'm really feeling progress here, but we'll see. Because this could always indicate to me as well, somebody running away or somebody that's going on some kind of journey, okay? Traveling, which we know that you're doing. I almost feel like I have two people here, almost that's grouping. This is a card of marriage, maybe even coming together in something substantial here, though, and, and moving forward. Maybe getting away from all of this past stuff, this gossip, these, these issues that were happening, and maybe starting something new for themselves. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you've both been wounded here. Look at this. This is the card of being wounded. And maybe you do feel wounded. Maybe you feel like and you, this might be something that you're considering. I see here that you're moving away from something. This is a card of an ongoing battle. This is something that you have maybe fought hard for, for um, in some way, emotionally, energetically, you know, spiritually. Who knows? You know, the attacks that come, God knows. I mean, you know, it could be any of those things. But you have remained consistent with it. All right. This could have drained you on your of your energy at some point, but it doesn't matter. I mean, it looks to me like you still have everything that you need to march forward. Okay. You may be a wounded warrior, but you a damn warrior. Okay. And this shows me someone from your past. Look at this. This is this could very well be a past situation, or you could be connecting with a past life soulmate or something along those lines. Okay. Someone who you have very deep roots with. You'll know it right away, right? All the playfulness, the energy surge that you feel, the youthfulness, the, the innocence that comes out, the playfulness, the kindness, the goodwill, the way you guys want to take care of one another. I mean, you'll know. That's the bottom line. These are beautiful, actually. I mean, do I even need to get an outcome with these cards? I guess I'll get one. All right, Spirit. <laughs> Let's look at, let me look at that outcome here for the collective. This also shows me two people that are returning back to a time that was easier. Okay, moving away from troubled waters, although they're both very wounded, returning back to a time that was easier. Okay, a time when they could just love each other and be very sweet with each other. A lot of caring and sharing here. That's, that's beautiful. Okay, let's get an outcome for the collective sphere. What is the outcome of this situation then? Come on to me. Oh, look, the first card out is the devil. Damn. Okay, so obsession, this could be a lot of shadow energy trying to come into the situation. Yeah, I was going to say, that does say devil, right? It does. There could be some kind of obsessive nature. Uh, be careful. I mean, definitely. I didn't see any cards to indicate this that would tell me this person was bad or anything like that yet. Um, but I would just be careful make sure that they're not just being seduced by the material, especially if you've gotten a lot of material gains, because I think we've already seen this person. Uh, could be showing up, you know, before as the wealthy man, but we see that they've actually lost a lot. I'm not judging people for losing. It happens. It's just a fact. Um, if they got it once, they can get it again. That's the way I look at it. But it is, a, it just depends. If they're coming in just to take what's yours, that's not going to work out either. Definitely not saying that's the case. Kind of feeling like this might also be other influences in the mix as well. A lot of shadow energy and, and hopefully this person has went through some kind of recovery or either they're going to have a lot of shadow self here. But look, there's that darn six of cups again. 
This is definitely some kind of past life connection with the two of you guys. So all of this nostalgia and memories, it is what draws you together. It does not mean that makes it healthy. Okay, you're going to have to discern if this is healthy or not. As I say, you have the moon card here. Okay, there could be a lot of fear, a lot of uncertainty around this. You could feel there is some kind of deception or illusions that's coming around this as well. Mm -hmm. So we have the devil energy and then we have fear and illusions as well. We already saw up here that we had a wizard and a sorceress. <laughs> Need I say more? So watch that. Okay. You can have a king of wands that's actually involved here. So somebody who's a visionary, um, fearless, powerful, charismatic, very sexual. King of wands is very sexual as well. All right, someone may be highly attracted to you as well. I would just make sure that they're not really, you know, in that, or there you could be the king of wands too, for what it's worth, okay? Uh, but the three of wands indicates to me a lot of foresight, all right, pursuing plans here. This is about, this could also be about expansion and growth here, okay? We do have the two of pentacles here, which could be about finding some kind of balance, about taking on responsibilities here about multitasking together you could have somebody here that wants to come in and take the lead very much so being kind of fearless in their approach or that could be you as well my concern here is somebody here is somebody here has something from the past this is not you somebody here has something from the past here all right this is my concern right here. There's a lot of illusions and stuff that need to come out. This may very well be what needs to be conversed about here because I saw that up here with the, the female and then the main male as well. So if this person has some kind of attachment to the path, there's some, well, almost a dirty shit. I don't know what went down. There's something that went down. Somebody feels guilty about something that that went down but i don't know that they want to talk fully about it maybe it was something that happened to you all right let's keep going then we got the ace of cups so i mean this is definitely an outpouring of love okay there could be the spark of romance there could be awakening you know the feelings again between two people you know, some kind of love initiation as well here. It's when he needs to make a choice though, because the thing is, there is some illusion around this. Are you still, are you going to be dealing with this person's past? That's what I would be asking because the past looks pretty shady. Now, I'm not talking about if they've left the past and if they've moved on, but something is not clear here. So there's still some uncertainty. There's still some deception, some illusion, disillusion here. I'm saying this to you. Obviously, I would expect everyone to discern on their own. We're certainly all... Um, adults here but I would definitely watch out for this because just because I'm feeling uncomfortable with it okay the last thing you want to do is put all your eggs into a basket with someone because you love them and then mm -mm, they still got other things going on or they're still attached to somebody who's clearly quite toxic here yeah because they feel like you are they're not a cuffs they do feel like you're this wish fulfillment okay they do know that all right, uh, this person does want to be content. They've clearly been through something that's really, really bad. But are they still in that energy? Are they still doing those things? Have they healed, you know? I know that they want you quite a bit. They keep an eye on you. They're very curious about you. They want to communicate with you. They want to explore some new ideas with you. Yeah, because they want to go on some new adventures with you. Okay, they want to be part of your growth. Maybe they just want to grow together. I think we had two. We did. We had two aces earlier. Ace of Wands was definitely one of those aces. Yeah, because they feel like you're their two of cups. Now, this has come out twice. This person's not confused about their love. They're not confused about this connection. Um, they know that this bond is very, very strong. The thing is, you've got something here, and they have to cut the cord. I don't know what it is. But they. If this is a person... Some bad habits, some toxicity, whatever. If they want to move forward, they have to cut the cord. And it's just that easy. If not, they will absolutely be leaving this conversation brokenhearted. Or if you go into it knowing that, you're going to end up brokenhearted. Okay, so choose wisely. I'm going to get a few. Uh, the love is there. Okay, but you know. And love is great, but love without honesty, honey, love with a bunch of illusions and moon energy, that, that's just not a good combination. All right. 
Let me see what this person, any last words from this person, Claire, what might they wish to say to the collective, please, Spirit? What this person wish to say to the collective? <laughs> I know you're losing patience. Well, that's probably true. <laughs> Yeah, I'm hiding the way that I truly feel. Yeah, they probably haven't told you too much. You probably you may not even know all this is going on with them. They're actually going through hell for what it's worth. It says, I sometimes feel intimidated by you. I believe this. Okay, and it says, am I good enough for you? I saw something earlier that made me feel that way, and I'm pretty sure I commented on it. I'd have to go back through the, through the thing, but I'm definitely, I feel that. So they may have some self-esteem issues, some, you know, some insecurity, especially going through what they just went through. I do feel like someone may have taken advantage of them. I don't know what their part was in it, but I definitely feel that part. It does say that this person may have tried to forget you, but it didn't work. But they do know that this is the real thing. Okay. Um, I cut on the other one. This person, I just cut again. It says, are you going to reject me? So that is probably a big concern for this person. Although coming in as a king of wands... And they don't seem too concerned with it. They do say, I can't be with you right now, but I will be back for you. I will. So this makes me think that this person is still maybe closing out something out. That, I mean, something else, since it is a destructive ending, they might be wrapping up quite a bit. I think we saw something else here about this person trying to be strategic or something and how they're moving as well. Um, maybe trying to keep something, not putting everything out there is what my feeling. Yeah, I didn't want to let you go. I just didn't know where to go with this. I'm telling you, you guys could have very, well, I don't know what the situation was. Maybe you guys brought up a lot of feelings in one another, or maybe you were having a lot of issues too, and maybe they just didn't know where it was going to go. They say, <laughs> we aren't done. We have an unfinished business. Okay, well, I'm definitely going to leave that right there. I will get a few uh, last words of advice. Maybe I'll get something from the angels here and see what they want to say. Romance angels. I haven't talked to you guys in a while. Let's see what y'all want to say for the collective, please. On this situation. Somebody has somebody from the past that is really hanging on. I would be careful. Uh, with, I don't even know why I'm telling you be careful. I, not you. I would be careful. You need to know all of that stuff. Who this is. I, I want to say somebody doesn't play fair, so I would be kind of aware of that. It says this could be the one, though, since you've already met the romantic partner that you seek. All right. Come to me. Yeah, it's a past life relationship. You've known each other before. Definitely felt that. What else, romance angels? Oh, look at this new love and free yourself for some of you guys. You may be doing that. Okay. And the reason I say that, of course, it's not going to apply to every one of you. But the reason I say that is because of what I saw down here, sailing away to something because you feel like there may be too many burdens involved. Okay. Somebody shows their love, but you decide to go in a different direction because you feel like it may be too burdensome for you. Okay. And this is spirit kind of saying, yeah, Free yourself. So I obviously might, could very well have two different scenarios here because you can see the cards. Okay. Um, of course, your new love could also be the one and it could be a past life connection as well. All right. So they're telling you to free yourself, free yourself from either past thoughts about this or definitely from this past relationship. Yeah. But for some of you guys, there will be a reconciliation. Okay. I'll put this one over here. <laughs> you might be going on some kind of retreat together as well she's actually she looks like she's in a i'm pretty sure she's in a wedding down here all right so um you know this could be with a new love this could be in in terms of this reconciliation as well here they do have somebody that hangs under their energy it looks to me like it may be a codependent situation again get get your data on that okay don't let that sneak in on you because you need to know Okay, guys, that is what I have for y'all. Hopefully it will resonate with some of you. If it does, please don't forget to hit the like button. I will see you guys very soon. Have a wonderful night. Talk soon, guys. Bye.